so today I have this beautiful 2018 Panamera uh, Sport Turismo and that's the turbo edition so we do have the same engine as the Lamborghini Lamborghini Urus it's a V8 4.0 550 horsepower if you're gonna check and compare with Urus Urus has 657 650 40 whatever so 100 horsepower more but it's exactly the same engine so basically vw audi they are sharing the same engine porsche uh, lamborghini and audi and it's a weak in my opinion wagon so it's kind of weird and uh, the people who's buying it they know what they buy they know what they're doing and basically i love the wagons myself because i do have a kids i do have family i want to move a lot of stuff but not only me this car used to be on a high demand as of right now as of before and it's one of the most i would say uh proper investment because this car right now it's worth about seventy-five thousand. if the mileage would be less it would be much more than that but when it, the car was brand new so it was about I would say 115, 120 maybe, 1000 for the new one right now, it's 75 and we do have a 78,000 miles on this beautiful Panamera. So basically somebody used it for five years, they put 80,000 miles on the Porsche and they didn't lose the value. So we still about between 70 and 80,000 for the used car, five years old and about 80,000 miles on it. Isn't beautiful, it is beautiful and it's amazing. So if you're gonna compare again BMW and Mercedes, they're not going to hold the same value as a Porsche, but it's not 911. Why it's still on demand? Why it's so beautiful and why do people love it? And I love it also. Number one, because we do have a wagon. Like I say, we do have a lot of space in the back so we can drop the seats. It is a five seats. It's kind of bench and the fifth passenger, he might going to feel himself a little bit squeezed inside this car, but still you can squeeze yourself in if you really want to go somewhere on the back seat of this beautiful Porsche. What about performance? What about... Okay, this car holds the value. Everybody understand it. I understand that also because the prices at the auction, they're not going cheap. Even if it's high mileage, you still have to pay a lot of money for the used car. I think that's a lot of money. Number two, is it reliable to buy this car right now as a Porsche, as Audi or whatever? And number three, how the car feel in itself after 80,000 miles, after five years of ownership by someone who really drove it. So means they didn't like, you know, baby, uh, baby care this car. So they've been using it, they've been driving probably for the family, probably to put a lot of stuff. Plus it's all wheel drive. So you can take it to snow mountains or whatever you want to do. Not the crazy off-roading, but just your occasional driving, you know, somewhere far away from the city on the weekend. This car is perfect for that. I mean, it is perfect plus it is beautiful so we do have a nice turbo rims we do have a beautiful color that's a gray grayish kind of color i think toyota they a little bit screw the 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 intelligence like the idea of that color on the beautiful expensive cars because toyota and some nissan i think maybe somebody else there is a lot of uh there is a lot of cheap cars who start doing exactly kind of same color weird color and uh but still it is kind of unique it is beautiful it is insane it's not tinted and we do have a nice tires i don't know if it's a michelin or pirelli but they're not chinese so in my understanding from my experience when you buy a used car and it has like some miles on it and it's not tinted so means for me again means the car in really great shape because when it's tinted and it's uh, beautiful and it's expensive usually inside there is something going on and i don't know how it works but it is working this way when the car is tinted it's super expensive there is a lot of different stuff inside kind of ugly but somebody who bought this car before and used it before so they choose it to do not tint it and in my opinion it looks much much better if you're going to compare the same car with tinted one already so let's go around and check it out what's going on inside i'm gonna turn it on the engine i mean run it a little bit so you can you can hear it the engine sounds perfect so basically if you are uh in that position when you're trying to buy the s uh audi or maybe urus or porsche with that kind of mileage and you're still thinking about it just buy it because this car feeling beautiful itself and i think it's built this way so it's going to hold the value it's going to hold uh its reliability after it's several years of usage
it's kind of weird time of the day right now but it, it is a saturday evening and uh, we do have a weird car it's not unusual car honestly i do not have those cars every day and uh but it is beautiful and i just want to show it to you uh the way it looks like inside outside during the night when you're driving it so we do have a turbo so turbo itself we do have a different headlights and uh, a lot of different things so the bumper the wheels but it's not the point the point is i check under the car we might gonna film it a little bit if i can there is no oil leak so sudden somehow audi build the engine for the porsche same as audi but then the audi we do have a lot of oil leaks, same as a BMW. After 50,000 miles, the car just starts leaking suddenly for no reason. That's normal. And I think the engineering uh, for those engines, for those brands, whatever, they just made it that way. So the engine not going to stop working, but we do have a lot of problems. We're going to get a lot of problems. So we have to buy the constantly the parts so to spend money. Porsche not doing that. I don't know how come they made this engine or they they making those cars. So they water mounts transmission mounts they all feeling good they themselves so we do not have any oil leaks on this car the engine running amazing the sound of this engine is still the same i think as a new that's amazing point for me Eighty thousand miles on a used porsche five years old and uh, it's running super nice so the paint job i mean it is a german uh germany engineering so we do have a perfect paint and i think it's all original i didn't check honestly all the parts all the panels but in my understanding the way it looks it is original if you're going to compare any new chevy three years old that's it the paint clear is gone the paint is gone but it's not the chevy it is a porsche that's why the people love it that's why it is holding the value it is holding the value not because it's brand not only because it's brand it is holding the value because the car itself built beautiful amazing like in, with a lot of improvements so they making those cars for years they know they're gonna appreciate and the value they know the people who's buying it they're gonna buy it after 10 years and they're still gonna enjoy it and they're gonna dream about new porsche that's what most of the people thinking and dreaming even if somebody buying the old porsche for like millions whatever they still want to buy something newer just to compare maybe or maybe to drive it every day because the old porsche it's kind of hard to drive you know once a week yes but every day like a daily car panamera I think it's a beautiful choice, especially if it's a sport Turismo with a huge trunk for a lot of stuff. Let's open the hood and see what's going on under that and see what's going on with the engine, the sound of it. So what's the cool about Porsche? When you open the hood, it's not your regular car with power. It is a Porsche Panamera. It is worth money. So when you open the hood, there is not so many access to do with the engine so you basically have to open a lot of covers maybe remove some panels maybe remove some other parts to access like the spark plugs you know and some other stuff but it is beautiful outside and inside when you open the hood look at this cover it's a beautiful engine cover and it's this is metal part because we do have a turbo on the top this is kind of looks like aluminum part but it's not but still it is just cool so basically all the i think most of the people who's driving porsche they're not taking care of, they're not doing maintenance themselves and if i buy this car for example 150,000, i bought it brand new right and i took this car for cars and coffee or somewhere on sunday morning and somebody asking me can you open the hood what's going on i'm going to be proud of my car by opening the hood because the way it looks under the hood is just amazing it's cool it's just cool it's not there is nothing super special about it but it looks beautiful and when i started up everybody gonna hear this engine everybody gonna hear the turbo sound and gonna feel that power 400 or oh, 550 horsepower urus urus engine urus. let's start it up look at the headlights it's just cool not super powerful sound of the engine but it's smooth it's running amazingly strong and with nice solid sound
of healthy engine. That's what the Porsche does. And it is required in Mobile One oil. That's what they recommend, but usually, especially in the United States, nobody cares about that. I just simply love this car. The more I'm checking it, the more I'm opening different things, the more I'm driving it, I just simply fall in love. The only problem with me, that's my bank account because it's not gonna hold, I mean, it's not holding right now that enough money so I can buy a lot of expensive cars and just keep them all. Maybe later on, I hope so one day I'm gonna do that, but unfortunately not right now. So for now, we do have a power lift gate. Look what's going on inside there is a lot of space you can put the, even the tree i mean if you check the video if you saw that pictures when the keanu reeves he put his christmas tree on the top of 9 11 here you can take the christmas tree and just throw it inside close the trunk and drive to any way you want to go so what about the, the function what about different things there is a lot of pockets so we are having the some stuff going on there there is no basically extra space but inside the trunk it's just insane so a lot of different pieces inside the trunk it reminded me audi like for example those hooks for the web it is audi and this and that maybe so i'm not too much complaining about audi parts it's just cool it is family car, it is family Porsche, and nothing else like Panamera. I would say be kind of in the middle between 911 and SUV Porsche, like Cayenne, because again, the Cayenne, it's not kind of sport car. It's not the car you would take it on a track, on a wheel spring, for example, on a weekend. This car, I would take it because it's more than enough horsepower to make some nice donuts, to make some nice, you know, uh, time on the track. Porsche Cayenne not gonna do that because it's not comfortable, especially on the high speed Porsche Cayenne, even if it's Turbo GT, GTS, whatever it is, it is a SUV and it's not gonna be the same as a Panamera Turbo. Beautiful, it's just beautiful. So guys, that's gonna be some advices from me to you. You finally got the key for your dream car. It is my dream car right now. I want to have it, but not only one. I'm going to have a lot of different cars. And this uh, Sport Turismo, I'm going to have it also. So you got the key. Number one, when you sit in the car, you always have to use the seat belt. That's, you have to. Number two, make yourself comfortable. It is a Porsche. It is a sport car. But try to make yourself comfortable. Like, you're not wearing a lot of different jackets, you know, some uh, uncomfortable. So make sure... Make sure you have enough space everywhere so you can drive it properly. Number two, you're going to start it up the car. You're going to start it up. If it's cold in the morning, you have to wait a little bit until it's going to warm up. After that, we do have a lot of different settings. So number one, that's your suspension. We can make it super hard or just normal way. Number two, that's the... We're going to drive it as a Sport, Sport Plus individual so you have to all do you all the settings yourself or just put it on a sport or put it on a normal mode and drive it as a normal car if you don't want to drive it as a normal car you do have a settings like i say for suspension for transmission for your exhaust system plus suspension we have it as an air suspension we're going on the low mode medium or we can lift it up and the whole car gonna go up if you want to do slightly, like I would say, off-roading or you're trying to go somewhere, uh, honestly, if you're driving in LA, it's better to lift it up. I think so. Maybe on the freeway, it's going to go low, but usually lift, it's a good choice. Now we have a chassis. So basically, on the sport mode, sport or normal. I would say, again, drive it on normal, but if you want to feel some sport, 
go on a Sport Plus. So what else we have available? We have available as a engine settings, transmission settings, your exhaust and your spoiler. Spoiler, we do have it active, like all the Porsche, you're driving uh, more than 50-60, it's going up, so it's trying to push the whole car, back of the car, down while you're driving on the high speed, if you're driving on the high speed. So what about the condition inside the car after five years and 80,000 miles, almost 80,000 miles on the car? It is in beautiful, I would say, amazing condition inside. Nothing is falling apart. The seats, they're all clean and nice. So this car being used, but not abused. That's one of the coolest point, I would say. Not the poor, not all the Porsche, not all the cars in the same condition like this one. Because not so much, uh, not so many people appreciate the car itself, especially when it's an expensive car. I know a lot of people, they are smoking and this and that, they're not taking care, but this car was take care really good. I mean, they were not babysitting the car, but they've been cleaning it and all that kind of stuff. So the climate control, one of the cool points, that's those vents. So basically when you turn off the car, it's going to close the vents in the middle. And it looks like solid one piece uh, black panel. Right? So when you start it up, those vents open up, you have a climate control available on the back, on the front, right? We do have some settings for the car itself. We do have an e-brake. We have an ashtray. That's cool. I mean, who's going to smoke inside the Porsche? I know somebody would, but I don't know. Uh, so on the back, is it enough space for five people? Kind of, if you want to put the kit on the back in the middle, that's probably more than enough. We do have a USB chargers on the back right there. Also, we do have the chargers. I think it's cool to sit anywhere in the Porsche Panamera. The old Porsche Panamera, I do have one piece, turbo, same, not the same. It's 2010 and that car from Japan. So maybe I'm going to do the video about that car also. Just let me know if you want to see the old Panamera, the first generation, in really great shape, low, low mileage. That car, 13 years old right now. And that car, like I say, it came from Japan. This car was in the United States all those five years that's why we got 78,000 miles but it's in beautiful condition i love it so much it feels so great and we're gonna drive it a little bit uh see how it feels so because probably i'm gonna drive this porsche turbo on the street a little bit i'm not gonna drive it crazy i cannot drive crazy because i don't like it but anyway i'm uh when I'm driving kind of crazy or careful, I'm sweating a lot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on cool it seat option in this car and see how I'm going to feel myself. Am I comfortable right now? Not really, because it's not that cold inside. I don't like when it's too hot. So I like when it's not hot at all. So that's why I want to do a little bit AC and turn on the cooled seat so now we're good i like this this volume switch it feels so good a lot of uh a lot of manufacturers they do in the same uh switch those clicks just so cool mercedes i think mercedes they 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 made it first and now my bmw x1 has the same exactly switch so let's go on a drive a little bit see how it feels 360 camera we do have a back camera the cool option when you're going on reverse we do have a 360 camera but same time there is a lot of choices what do you want to do you want to go sides you want to go only rear or you want to go front because the car is too low and if you're not lifted up if you're on a low mode you need that before you're going to hit the curb or something else and hit your bumper. You're driving Porsche, you don't want to do that. So let's do on the rear and 360. That's cool, more than enough. All the station wagons in my life, they are kind of attracting me a lot because I do like station wagons. I do like a, an idea about it, especially IMG Mercedes E-Class 
those are just insanely cool if it's AMG 63. This Porsche for me Panamera it was kind of not like untouchable uh, car. It is all the cars touchable in your life doesn't matter what you want to buy one day you're gonna buy it. Just wait for it and work for it that's it but right now since I drove this car a little bit not only right now but before and uh, I'm paying more attention on the cars I'm driving and the cars what I want to buy it keep it I don't know maybe do some projects from it maybe why not but it just feels so good it feels so good you're not driving the Cayenne I don't like the Cayennes for some reason or my cans 911 maybe I'm not at that point yet but uh, Panamera Sport Turismo it just feels so good you can drive it normal like a regular car you know like your Toyota Corolla or whatever car you have Honda Maserati Bentley doesn't matter what you're driving but same time we do have a 550 horsepower under the hood that means I can go on the Sport Plus it's just cool it's just amazingly cool it was a homeless guy in the middle of the road and I did see him and uh, I think he got scared but I got scared more but same time I was controlling that so that's why don't drive it fast I don't like it I don't like it especially at night you have no idea what's going on and you have an idea how many people trying to cross the road at night with no flashlight I mean you know it better than me Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo let's do five criterias I want to kind of maybe show it approve it or disapprove it so number one I want to always rate the cars from now on about uh, about the value so means those cars are they appreciating during the years or are they depreciating during the years basically are you making money if you're going to keep the car or you're going to lose money when you are keeping the car number two that's about comfortable is it comfortable like suitable for you for your family maybe for two of you or for five of you is it uh, comfortable or not that's uh, criteria number two number three is it reliable like reliable in a way you can rely on the car and it doesn't matter what's the mileage on it would you drive this car from Los Angeles all the way to I don't know Salt Lake City right now without taking it to mechanic shop without checking it like I'm driving this car right now and suddenly in one hour I want to go to Salt Lake City I don't know why I just want to go and check if there is a snow uh, in the mounts or something else I want to so is it reliable or not number four is it good on maintenance like can you maintain this car the proper way so this car gonna live not forever but it's gonna be enough for like five years or maybe you want to keep it and give it to your kids uh, cost of the maintenance and number five is it a nice looking car so people like it you like it you like the way it looks inside outside the way it drives and all those kind of stuff a lot of different things maybe the rims the original you know the the, the shape of the car so five things and all five things in this car the only maintenance that's only question about uh, about the maintenance I don't know I don't know how expensive or how cheap to do the maintenance on this car but I think it is affordable it's not uh, it's not it's not super expensive it's not super cheap but I think you can do so because it is an Audi kind of it's using a lot of Audi parts like brakes and um, engine parts and all that kind of stuff so only that I have a question about this car other than that it is comfortable for me it is reliable I can rely on that and take it to any state right now if I want to so guys make your comments below uh, let me know what you think about it you probably have more experience than me that's uh, how it usually works and uh, if you 
I don't know, if you build that car or if you fix it, you had some problems and uh, you spend money on it or time on it, or you got bad situation with the Porsche, maybe older Panamera, maybe your transmission went out, just put some comments below and uh, I just want to know. And what do you think about those five criteria for me? Please let me know also. And uh, please guys subscribe, put some comments below, thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching it. I'm going to see you next time in my new video, in my new cars. Bye-bye.